I can. Yay! <laughs> and I start uh, screen sharing again um, for what we wanted to do next. And that is um, use annotation to mark structures you experienced virtually. And so maybe the first uh, thing to mark is what did you experience virtually? And the sign we use for that is a is not a heart, no, sorry. Is a star. So you use star, you said, okay, that was a structure I remember and I remember the name and here's the menu. And um, this one I experienced virtually and um, take your time using the star to mark. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, lots of one to four O's. <laughs> <laughs> not so much of a surprise. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I mean, virtually it is uh, not easy to uh, set it up, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Okay, and um, while you finish finding or uh, refinding um, the ones you experienced, so the next um, thing to mark is this is a structure I really loved, but loved virtually. So not your preferred structure overall, but um, just take a glance of, oh, that was a structure I really loved virtually. Um, okay. Sven, you can, you can find um, this connotation function, if you go at, look at your screen, right up where it's really um, green, where it's shown that the screen is shared by Anya, next to it is an options section. So if you press the drop down um, arrow, you'll have connotations or annotations, or annotations sorry, uh, or comments, comment here in German. And that opens the menu, and there you find. Sample, and that's where you can choose. And uh, maybe you can also still add the star. And um, so while you're finishing uh, marking your um, the, the structures you loved, um, the next thing we're curious about is, did you lead anything virtually yourself? And could you please also mark that? so that we get a feeling for um, how daring and brave and experimental this um, group here is. Does it make sense, Ina, that we are, we are otherwise we are all over the place? Yeah. Yeah, it's interesting. Which structures have been picked up for leading and which have hardly been done? It's very interesting. The wicked question, for instance, or the, the discovery action dialogue, helping heuristic simple ethnography, agreement certainty matrix and uh, generative relationships. I think that might be a nice indication for to run for a next lab. Yeah, yeah, that could be. Yeah, there are so many ways to make use of this now of this insights we we have now. And so I'm wondering, um, I took already a screenshot and of course uh, that was the whole point of recording this because uh, we were so um, curious what, what this picture shows. And while we have a look at it um, right now, um, shall we move, take the next step 
and move into what we were planning to do next. Yeah. And one, one for maybe I stop uh, sharing so we find a mm -hmm. chat again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are we good? One of our, our participants here asked and said, um, Matt, Matt, T, Matt T is not there. Well, Matt T is not a structure that belongs to the 30 set, the core set of 33 structures but it's a structure in development. So it's used a lot and we are, exper um, we are all thinking it should be part of the main uh, or, or the core set, but uh, it wasn't right from the beginning. So that's why it's not there. Yeah. All right, so let's- I, I stop share. You, you will take a glance at that picture. I think we can take it in right now. And, um, Back to uh, everyone and the initiation um, as a next step is now um, alone. Reflect, what do you notice looking at our overall practice we just assessed in this picture? So alone, think, maybe you want to, to write it down um, on a piece of paper. And um, Ina, I'm lost. Uh, who was chat tending? Was it me? <laughs> chat I'm chat tending. That's okay. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so um, by now you should have gotten a hold of um, one or two thoughts, but don't um, panic if it's not very elaborate yet and um, it was only a short time. So we are doing um, the step to four <laughs> directly, not to two. And you will find yourself briefly, uh, not briefly, in a, in a moment, you will find yourself uh, with four other people or three to four other people, depending on um, how the Mass is doing with us, with our group. And um, you will share of uh, what did you notice looking at our virtual practice? And um, you could, by sharing what you noticed, um, maybe you find things you would find in common. And then um, after, you know, did we say four minutes to share or five minutes to share? Maybe four and a half a minute to come back. Like a yeah. buffer, then we will hear from uh, hear some voices, like a like a um, popcorn uh, bowl that is ready to pop. We we hear from from some of the four sons um, what you talked about. Okay, and uh, and we are multitasking, stretching Ina a lot, so she has to do chat and breakouts. It's okay, and um, I'm just um, I'm almost there. <laughs> So what would happen is, uh, for those of you uh, who are um, not familiar how you can set this up, I think Ina said we set it up in a way that it's done automatically. So it looks for a brief moment as if Zoom completely disappeared and crashed. Don't panic. You, it will reopen again and you will find yourself automatically, magically, Zoom magically in a room with three to four other people. Yes. Yeah, so enjoy your conversation and oh no Anya is joining us hello Anya Hi, yeah, I thought um, uh, Ina put me alone because she thought maybe I want to rejoin her, but I thought it's nicer to be with you when you're just the two of you. <laughs> Thank you. So, so I found myself wondering, I looked at that, listened at that, well, why are some not used at all? It's just curiosity. Like, I have, I have to get out my liberating structures book here look at some of them. Yeah, oh, yeah. But I, I think 
Yeah, I don't, maybe I feel the urge to, to answer that, but, that, that, but I think it's what, what it might show is that the virtual practice reflects our in real life practice and these might as well be not the most used structures. Ina, you join us. I join you. I just listen in for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. interesting what the two of you have just uh, shared because for me, I was more surprised about the diversity of liberating structures that have already been experienced or explored in the virtual space. And I saw more of the potential of, uh, okay, there is more structures uh, for us as a group to explore. So different perspectives around the same picture. Yeah. Barb, what are you thinking? Um, well, I had said that I, I was wondering why others were not. I think that was before you came in. Mm -hmm. I, some of them just not used it online at all. Um, I think, it, and I also noticed that some of the ones that were the most popular uh, seem to be the ones that make us reflect ourselves or to get advice like the Troika and I made a screenshot and I really should look at it, but uh, the nine whys and make us really dig down because this is a time I think a lot of people are reflecting like, well, what worked, what didn't work, how can we, work now so much virtually. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I was, I, I just thought that it, it gave a nice picture, but at the same time, it didn't reflect really um, the diversity fully because I'm sure some people who are sort of super users in our, you know, who are present, I could see some, they have, of course, you know, put stars and hearts in various sections and others might have not dropped something at all. So I'm just wondering, uh, Anya, I'm thinking aloud, do you, whether you want to ask if anyone has not connotated anything. Maybe we have some real newbies also. So that would be interesting yeah. to hear, especially from totally. them. So when you invite now for to hear also uh, not only what, what are the patterns or the commonalities what we observe, but also what are sort of the, the far, the far uh, spectrum. <laughs> what is the spectrum? Yeah. Yeah. For users and beginners. Yeah. Yeah. There might be an easier way to capture that on a, on a line and have people put their stars on the line about how experienced they are. Yeah. It's hard to tell from the, the chart. Yeah, very. Yeah, and, and, and it just made me feel like, oh, I really want to do a DAD online and a really a, a generative um, star relationship. <laughs> Seeing that no one does it. Yeah, I saw that in the virtual channel, people discussed on how to do it um, virtually. But I haven't even done it. I, we did it once in um, on the Kodil Wampo, <laughs> yeah. but never a real. Hmm. Guys, it's under 10 seconds. I just <laughs> rather go back and uh, yeah. wait you. You're just over. What else? So I'm curious, Felix, wh which ones did you like? Um, which ones I liked? Um, well, there is a couple I find Troika super simple um, to use in various contexts. Uh, I've done it with friends now spontaneously um, in a, a research colloquium um, and it just works because people are used to consult each other or solving each other's problems, but they're still surprised it happens in <laughs> anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's okay, great. Slow. We'll record that. <laughs> Can we cut uh, this out? <laughs> yeah, here is everyone is coming back. So let's wait until everyone is back and hear about what you heard, what you found out. Anya, are you 
back with us. Yes. And we can't hear you. Audio. <laughs> <laughs> really? No. You should. Can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, now we can hear you. I, I switched you online. <laughs> Good. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Even more um, tech anxiety built in. Um, yeah, we want to hear um, what you observed and um, maybe to prep this uh, briefly in chat what resonates and then we hear some voices. So. Um, take some time, type in what resonates from the conversations you just had, from the sharing of your observations. And if you got something, just enter it. And uh, while you're still typing, I take the privilege that I'm already talking <laughs> and sharing. Uh, one thing we, we had in our group was a different perspective on what this picture reveals. Um, for Ina, it revealed that uh, a big curiosity, oh, here is untouched ground. This is something I want to, to um, try out. And for Barb, it revealed um, why is it that they are rarely used? What's, what's, what's behind that, uh, that choice people make? And, um, and Felix said, uh, wow, um, I, it, it makes me curious to try all the other stuff other people tried out and it makes me more confident. So that was an interesting thing we found in our group. Let's hear some of the other groups and maybe um, you pick up from what you shared in chat, or you share something that wasn't shared in chat yet. I think there is something around that, again, that, that core group of structures that are used to kind of bind all the other structures together. So certain structures are almost like the glue or the cement that help you to to build your string, where some of the other structures used less so are very focused, um, very kind of specialist structures. And there's also, I think, a complexity to using them, or we make up that there is a complexity to using them. And when they get used less, we experience them less, so we're less likely to, to try them out. Somebody else wants to share something you observed? Sabine. Yeah, um, when, when looking at the board, um, we were talking about, um, <laughs> yeah, or, or to me it almost revealed this kind of sense of um, urgency, <laughs> uh, what you needed most uh, during those times, you know, like the connection part, the sharing, the um, yeah, uh, like the um, uh, impromptu networking, uh, and so on. But also this kind of uh, what do I need to let go of, and what do I need to yeah continue, or where do I plant my seeds with the eco cycle planning and the critical uncertainties. And I found it very revealing and interesting to see. But I also find it interesting now this the, the idea of the untouched ground that inspires me. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, one thing um, um, we also found out is that this might create um, a picture of, oh, so much was tried out, but what, what we should have integrated there is also an invitation to hear, is here anybody with us who didn't experience any liberating structure yet and who is here for the first time and don't be shy. So if we have someone like that here then 
welcome. <laughs> nice that you found us and, and made it through the first uh, half an hour um, exchanging on uh, things you haven't experienced yet. Yeah, I'm, I'm the first time here. Uh, it's, it's quite interesting so far. Um, I haven't, I've done uh, liberating structures. I'm a facilitator, so like mm -hmm. I'm in being, so I use them as, a, as uh, in, in that context. Uh, and like so far, the only one that I did, did online is one, two, four, all, which is uh, powerful, but also a little bit tricky sometimes with the breakouts in Zoom. Um, <laughs> but yeah, happy, happy to hear more about the experiences from the others. Okay, thank you. So I think we are good uh, and prepped for the next step. Um, and I'm, I'm handing that over to Felix.